Sorry if I flipped y'all off. Kind of consistency. Who is? It does not smell like fish. my June favorites for the month of June obviously I have a whole bunch of makeup to skincare to just a whole bunch of variety so if y'all want to see my beauty favorites for the month of June <laughs> then go ahead and keep watching I wanted to mention one thing before we get started and that is I dyed my hair it's fully blonde now there is some yellow and different kind of colors going on it right now because I was going from a dark color but I did it exactly how I did in my hair video so if you haven't seen my hair video I'll have it linked down below but that's exactly how I dyed it and yeah this is what it looks like right now and just thought I would address the elephant in the room and so let's get started so first I'm gonna start off with my makeup products just in case you don't really care about the other things so what I've been loving for makeup lately is my Becca Moonstone highlight and this is the kind of liquid kind of foam kind of consistency basically I like to add this to my foundation or just put it over my foundation or even put it on your body I just really really love this stuff it, you could use it for anything you want to glow and it's a really pretty shade and I just love adding this to my foundation routine lately so I thought I would mention it it just gives you a really pretty a white gold look and I really really love it Next up we have my contour sticks from Smashbox. I've really really been loving these. I use them every day. They just make my contouring and highlighting routine much easier I think in my book because it just sets a guideline for everything and it just makes it really sharp and precise and easy to clean up so I've really been loving these and if you don't know about them it's three sticks and they come with a contour shade, a bronze shade, and a highlight shade. The, bon the contour shade is a little bit more cool tone brown. The, um, the bronzing shade is a little bit warmer and the highlight shade is also just a highlight shade. It's kind of a skin tone color and I really really love these this month and I use the heck out of them as you can see from the tips. I just really love these and if you want to see swatches I think I swatched these in my last haul so if you want to see swatches of those I have those next up for concealer I don't know if I've ever mentioned my Urban Decay concealer in a favorites video so I thought I'd mention it this month I really really love this um, it's an amazing concealer I love the doe foot kind of app applicator it has it just really makes it easy to apply it kind of has like a flat edge on the side and I have mine in a light warm and I love this for an everyday concealer if I'm wearing foundation it just really highlights and gives me lots of coverage and it makes you look flawless so I've really been loving this and then the other concealer I have is my LA girl pro concealer and you don't really see these in my vid this a uh, concealer in my videos sorry if I flipped y'all off you don't really see this <laughs> in my videos lately and it's because it's kind of my skin tone so I don't really use it with foundation because it's already my skin tone and I want to highlight that area but on days like I go to the gym or swimming or something where I just need a little bit of concealer I'll use this so I actually do use it every day y'all just don't see it but I love using this for my gym routine like under my eyes just to wear a little bit concealer because it is my skin tone and yeah um if you don't know already I already have a video on this it's a LA girl concealer versus Mac pro longwear concealer and I kind of compare them so I will have that link down below in case you haven't seen it already and it just gives you my kind of review on this product and basically it's a dupe for the Mac pro longwear concealer so I've really been loving this next up for foundation I have really been loving my L'Oreal infallible pro matte foundation this just has been my favorite out of all the foundations I have because it gives me that coverage without looking cakey and it gives me a really nice matte finish and if I want more of glow I could just add that highlighter with it and it just is a really really good foundation from the drugstore and if you haven't tried it you need to try it even if you have dry skin because I heard people with dry skin actually like it too so it's just really universal so if you haven't tried this you should go try it and it's one of my favorites this month next up for lipsticks I've really been loving my matte liquid lipsticks and I have some of my brands my favorite brands that I want to show you um, I have dose of color pinky promise which is basically the shade that shows right here it's a really hot pink and I really really love this shade and this formula on dose of like the dose of colors formula for liquid lipsticks is really good so I really like that one also I've been loving my Anastasia liquid lipsticks this formula is also really good I have pure Hollywood and spicy these are my two favorite colors I have pure Hollywood on right now if you want to see what it looks like and spicy basically just looks like in the tube they're really good with their packaging because you can um, see exactly what the color looks like it looks exactly like this on my lips so I really like that about it and yeah I've really been loving those 
And then my oldie but goodies are my Stila liquid lipsticks. I just love this formula. They're very, um, I think they're, I don't know, they're the same price as those, but they're very easy to find. They're at your local Sephora or Ulta, and they're just really easy to find. You don't have to order them like some of those. And yeah, they're just an oldie but goodie, and I really love these too. Next up for eyeshadows, this month I've really, really been digging into my Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. I just really love them. You can just throw them on the lid and it looks like you actually tried really hard on your eyeshadow. And I love putting them in the center of my lid. Right now I have this kind of yellow one in the center of my lid. I don't know if y'all could tell. I kind of just threw it on because it wasn't over a pigment. So I didn't want to like mess up the pigment. But yeah, I've really been loving them. And um, you can basically tell which ones they are. Like this yellow one, this green one, this purple one. Um, these two right here you could just tell which ones are foiled and I've really been loving them so if you haven't tried them you need to I know they're a little bit more expensive than the regular um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows but they're totally worth it and, and to me they're more better than pigments because you don't get the mess but it gives you that pigment that like foiled effect and so I've really been loving these eyeshadows and I know I use Makeup Geek eyeshadows on basically all my tutorials but I cannot help it they're just amazing they're really affordable and if you don't have these you could always find dupes for them so so I've really been loving these and that is pretty much all I've been loving for makeup. Um, they're kind of repeats. That's why I kind of went over them kind of quickly. I just wanted to mention them because they are my favorites, but I have already talked about them. So I'll have the videos that I have talked about them down below just in case you want to know about any of those products. Now on to kind of skincare and random favorites. Um, I actually have a lemon here because I've really, really been loving incorporating lemon in my skincare and also like in my diet. Um, I like to drink warm uh, lemon water in the morning just to get that digestive system going and also what I've really really been loving it for is I'll squeeze this into a little cup or a bowl and I'll dilute it with some water and then I'll use it as my toner and I only do this at night because I don't like to do it during the day because it can affect your skin in the sun and maybe cause sunburn or something like that I don't know that's just what people were saying so I only do it at night and what I do is squeeze it into that bowl like I said and dilute it with some water and then get like cotton or a makeup wedge or whatever you want and just rub it all over your face it does kind of tingle and sting a little bit but don't worry it's fine and what I like to do to calm that down is actually get aloe vera and just rub aloe vera on it and it makes that stinging go away and then I'll wake up the next day and my skin just looks really brightened and refreshed and it actually had some like acne scars going on that were really really fresh and I had done this and the next day were they were healed like the scab was already like coming off sorry if it's TMI but it was already coming off and then I used this again that night and I woke up and the scab came off and it was already cured and I was like what the heck because usually it takes forever for like my scars or whatever to heal and or scabs to heal and this just really helped it out so if you haven't tried it already just go in your refrigerator and try it out and see if you like it I really been loving it Next up, speaking of skincare, I've really been loving my Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. And the reason I love this so much is because I actually have a Myriad cleanser that has salicylic acid that I've been trying out, or I got it quite a while and I've been trying it out for a long time now. And it was $30 and I'm pretty sure it breaks me out. And I've also tried other drugstore brands with salicylic acid and they break me out and so I think Salicylic acid breaks me out, but I've tried lots of cleansers here and there and they don't really I don't really see a difference And you think just because it's gentle it won't do anything But when I clean my face with this it feels so clean It doesn't feel over dried or anything and it doesn't break me out So if you have sensitive skin and you haven't tried this I suggest that you do because it's amazing and it's very affordable It's a drugstore brand and it just makes your skin really clean and it does its job It doesn't do anything extra. So I've really been loving my Cetaphil gentle cleanser. Next up is kind of a makeup item. I kind of forgot to mention it. It's the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. And to me, this smells exactly like no glue when you were a kid and you used to like glue them on. That's exactly what this stuff smells like, but it's great at holding your lashes. It really sticks them to your lashes. And I find that I don't really have trouble putting them on with this glue. I don't know why, but it really makes it easy. It comes in a little kind of um, brush or it comes with a little kind of brush applicator like so and you just paint it onto your eyelash and I've also painted it on my eye and just stuck my eyelash on and it works that way too so I've really been loving this because it keeps my eyelashes on and I feel more secure with this glue because it doesn't go popping off or anything like that so I've really been loving this glue and the plus side to that glue is it does not smell like fish <laughs> 
And speaking of eyelashes, the next um, favorite I have here is my Siren House of Lashes and they look like this. Um, I've had some people comment on my Instagram pictures that they want to know what lashes I was wearing and it's always these. They're Siren from House of Lashes and what I like about these is the lash band is so thin that you could actually wear them without eyeliner and I really like to do that to give kind of a natural wispy effect and I've really been loving these. They kind of remind me of the Ardell Demi Wispies but a little bit more Oof, like a little bit more wispy and I just really been loving these lately and yeah right now I have on House of Lashes Iconic and they're more thick and bold so you do kind of have to wear eyeliner unless you like get them really close to your eyelashes and these are not like that so I've been switching like when I want a bold I'll wear this and when I want kind of a natural lash I'll wear these so I've really been loving these and they're Siren from House of Lashes. Next up is kind of a workout favorite. It's C4 pre-workout explosive energy with creatine and nitrates. Um, this is my favorite pre-workout and I've never mentioned it in a video so I thought I would mention it. Not exactly this flavor but this brand. It just really gets me pumped. It gives me this kind of itchy feeling and it helps me kind of sweat. I don't know if that's gross but it helps me like get my heart pumping and it makes me in the mood to work out. So I just thought I would mention it because it, it really is a good workout. Right now I have watermelon favorite but my favorite is green apple because it tastes kind of soury and delicious. And this one tastes more sweet so I'm more of a sour person. That's why I don't like the, this one as much. But I do like this one more than the blueberry one. So yeah, just thought I would mention that. Next up is kind of a fashion favorite and these are the, it's the sandals right here and these are from Shoe Department and they're the Report brand, I'm guessing so, yeah. And they look like this and they're just really simple sandals but I thought I would mention them because they are the most comfortable shoes you have ever worn in your life. Like when you wear these it feels like you're barefoot but without like the your foot getting sore from like being barefoot and they're just amazing and they're really easy and I just like to throw them on when we're walking out the door and I don't want to wear tiny shoes or socks because it is really hot now and so these are just really perfect just to throw on with any outfit and they're black so they match everything so I thought I'd mention these and they're from shoe department like I said so and I've really been loving them. And my last but not least favorite are Bath and Body Works candles and I know you're gonna just probably turn off the video right now because a lot of people get annoyed with candle like hauls and you know favorites and I'm not very like a very trendy person but I thought I would just see what was all the hype about Bath and Body Works candles so I decided to get three and these are the I got watermelon lemonade and this one's a really good summer scent it smells just like lemonade and I really really love it and then I got love and shine which is this white one and then I got this one, Tiki Beach, which is more like kind of summery vacation kind of smell. Smells really good and coconutty. And yeah, I've just really been loving these and I do see what all the hype is about. Um, I was using just regular Walmart candles for my house and I bought these and I have one in each room and they really do fill the room with the scent. So it's not just hype, they really do fill the room with the scent and they last you forever. So I've really been loving them and I just thought I would mention them. So that was all my beauty favorites for the month of June. I hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did so I can keep doing them for you guys. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and push that red button down below and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. I cannot believe how much subscribers I have now. I know it's not a lot at all, but I just love each and one of you and y'all make me smile when I see your little comments or the likes that you've given. It just warms my heart. And so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and until next time guys, bye.